Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Cooper Lee Gaming, CLG. Gonna play a little Total War Shogun 2. Starting a new campaign today with. Eh, just gonna do the normal Shogun 2. I don't wanna do Rise of the Samurai. A lot of different countries to choose from. Different ones that'll allow you to do different things. They get the different challenges, reduce recruitment costs for the Mori. They can recruit superior ships, which I don't really care for the ships in this this uh, game. They're not that great. It's not bad, but it's not not that great. The Date. They get a charge bonus to all units. They can recruit superior no dachi samurai. And those also have recru reduced recruitment. Let's see. I think we're going to start with the... Do the long campaign. Put it on normal. And we'll go ahead and start the game as the Shimanzu. They have the reduced recruitment costs and upkeep for Katana Samurai. They can recruit superior Katana, katana heroes. Increase loyalty for all generals and can recruit superior Katana Samurai. So, this isn't the first time I've played uh, Shogun 2. I've been playing it for a little while now. But I also play Total War Rome. I played Medieval. All the different Total War games. But Shogun's a little different. I like it. Can't wait to play Total War Warhammer when it when I finally get the money to buy it. But for now, we'll just keep playing Shogun 2 and various other games and see how you guys like it. As we wait for this game to load, here we go. Here's a cutscene for you. You guys go ahead and watch that. This is Sengoku Jidai. The age of the country at war. For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now the overmighty clans no longer obey. <laughs> Time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. But who will be victorious? Shimazu lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. We trace a line back to the first shogun Yoritomo. Loyalty runs deep in the Shimazu. It is in our blood, our traditions. And in battle, our swordsmen are the envy of Japan. No blade is swifter or more feared than ours. Bishamonten, the war god, has woken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Shimazu clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. We are the Shimazu. This is an auspicious time for our clan. Not only have we established ourselves as masters of Satsuma province, but fate has brought us into contact with a trade ship from the far west, shipwrecked upon the shores of Tanegashima. The Namban brought with them the promise of lucrative trade. More importantly, they brought Teppo. Firearms, 
simple to operate, yet deadly in their effect. Establishing trade relations with the Nambang should be a priority, for their weapons could be the key to our military superiority in Kyushu. It is also vital that we begin to extend our power beyond the bounds of Satsuma. Osumi should be our first target. This we is where they want to target at first. War with the ruling Ito clan. And its castle is dangerously close to our borders. It must be captured before the Ito have a chance to master an army there. We may then proceed with their total subjugation, or alternatively, expansion into Higo. We are not currently at odds with the Sagara, the masters there. A seizure of their province will mean a source of superior war horses and the taste of total and lasting victory. With southern Kyushu firmly under our control, none of the other clans will be able to resist. Kyushu will be ours. But we must beware of drawing the ire of Kyoto. Should the Shogunet perceive our growing influence as a threat, it will be necessary to defend ourselves against the Shogun and his allies. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. Alright, so we got our first mission here. Establishing a foothold. The Satsuma is firmly under Shimazu rule. We can now afford to extend our domain further. Osumi province to the east is an apt target. It is poorly defended and belongs to our old enemies, the Ito. Capturing it will bring them to heel. Help secure our position in southern Kyushu. So we gotta capture that province. Then we get this call to arms, which gives us one recruitment slot across all provinces. If our oh. daimyo is to become shogun, military rule All right, so here's our town, Japan. starting town. We must defeat the current Got shogun. Got a farm, the trails, clan. coastal village, capturing and holding the and capital then a blacksmith. For four seasons. We also have a sword At school so that we can get those katana the warriors. The emperor will declare our clan leader shogun. With improved armor and improved melee. We can make a bid for the shogunate at any time. Right now, our army consists of us, Tenegashima, Tomokata. Or, I'm sorry, that this is a Shimazu Takahashi. Put them together. So we got two generals there. We got two Yari Ashigaru, and two Bo Ashigaru, and then one Yari Samurai. So we're going to go ahead and recruit a Katana Samurai, and a couple more, bow, yeah, get some more bow Ashigaru and Yari Ashigaru. Upgrade our farms to so get some more food. Go down here to our Mastery of the Arts and decide if we want to do Bushido, which is the way of the warrior, or the way of Chi, with, which enables the building of a market. It gives us a bonus to clan wide tax rate. This gives more morale. Right now we can already build the Katana Samurai, so I'm not worried about that. But this will lead towards getting some units that we definitely need to embed in our armies. So we're going to end this turn. Wait for us to get a couple units done. Ideal for whittling down... So we have another mission, Master's Kinjutsu. Uh, it says, Master the following art, Way of the Sword, and they'll give me some Katana Samurai. Now that I've got 
one Bo Ashigaru. They can join them. I've got a couple more units being built. Once they're done, we will go to war. We're going to upgrade punishment rate. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. The closer we get to getting a trade ship, we can move out to these different trade areas. Recruit some ships. Okay, so we mastered that one. We're going to go back into our Mastery of Arts. We'll do the Way of the Sword so that we can get that started and we'll get that reward. Now we've got Katana Samurai. we got three Bo Ashigaru and two Yari Ashigaru units. And once these two units are done, we will go to war. Let's see, do we want to improve our... Let's go ahead and improve our town. In this turn, so we can get those last troops, and we'll march off to the first battle. As you can see, that little skull that shows up on our flags telling us we're suffering from attrition. So the longer we stay in a province that's not ours, we'll lose troops. Alright, so they've got a Light Cavalry, two Yari Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru, and Samurai Retainers. We can assault, or we can just continue the siege. We're going to go ahead and assault, just because I want to get it done faster. Most of the time, you know, you would just continue your siege until they decide to come out and attack you. But since we're suffering from attrition in the wintertime, we're going to lose just as many troops sitting waiting as we will just going ahead and attacking them. And I always like this on the bottom. It's got these different quotes from different books from Japan. It's kind of interesting. But this yellow that's on the map here, that's our different areas where we can put troops to start in the deployment phase and then the red is where they can put all their troops and those little borders that are in there that's the that's the castle we're going to be looking at so I can choose to wait for favorable weather conditions but it's dry it's good weather for us to fight in we'll go ahead and start deployment so we're going to have a nice little video intro here into the castle and listen to our リーダー。この城を落とすことじゃ。早すぎとは思わぬが、必ずできるはずじゃ。よいか。今後 all these guys. Put my generals here. Start moving up.
see what we got here. So they can't hit me from long distance. shooting arrows down at us. This way. I'll protect against that flank. The bow Ashigari is taking a pounding right now from these archers. Start hustling. guys in. Let's see, we got some of our troops already coming up, but they're sending their cavalry out to attack us. Concentrating on putting our fire above. We're already starting to waver.
Get all these guys nice and lined up. Do a little charge right here. Camera finally up here. They're getting a little tired, but just send them straight into the enemy. Almost done. That was almost over. See, they're wavering. Pretty much dead. Changing the flag out. Nice victory in the battle. All right, so they got wiped out. Lost one unit. Lost a lot more troops than I should have. But it was still a victory. We took the... Go ahead and peacefully occupy. We took the town we need to. Completed the mission. So we got this call to arms. Now we'll go ahead and we'll rebuild. Repair that. We've got all these choices to build. I'm going to go ahead and get some more food first. And end our turn. That should be rebuilt. We'll have some other options for buildings. And we mastered Bushido. We got a new mission trade endeavors. They want us to conduct to build a trading port. We'll get an extra thousand in our treasury. Which it cost 1800. So we don't have the cash right now to get that. But we got this nice upgraded town, new town, let's see. Really want ninja, I don't care about the other samurai, light cavalry, katana samurai, bow samurai, a matsuke. That we could use. This will add wealth, it will allow us to get an extra, some more growth. So we're going to do that so we can recruit a matsuke. Let's see, they got us doing this, and we get naganata samurai. We go firebomb throwers. Switch to this one so we can get that Buddhist temple. Gives us another person to recruit. You can see we're still at war with these guys. Well, not there. 
Or purple. More people are at war. Got our stronghold completed. One of the clans that we were trading with is destroyed. Let's look at... Okay, so that's what they want me to, to get down there, but I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this one, and I'll go back. And we only have 1,500 gold right now. We make 1,000 a turn. Go ahead and get another. Go ahead and build this so that we can get the extra commerce and we'll get some ninjas. Recruit one of those to go out and start messing with our enemies. Okay, let's see. How's this army doing? Almost fully recruited again. We got three of those, three of those. Let's go ahead and get those. Back over here to this one. Some extra to help defend the town. In another turn. Okay, so now we can build Buddhist temples. That allows us to get Naginata warrior monks and bow warrior monks, which are pretty awesome. Go ahead and do that one. Okay, so all those troops have been built. We got our I'm gonna build roads here. Build a harbor. I can build my trade port. Leave another mission. And then we'll go ahead and recruit our Matsuke and our ninja when we can. out of the army. Okay, we can't quite get there. We would switch them around because they were going to take six turns to get back anyways. So I'm army over here. And we'll go ahead and recruit. Oh, we can't do that. Now we don't have any money. So we'll recruit another Bo Ashigaru and Yari Ashigaru to help with the garrison there. He's trying to be all sneaky sneaky and get past us, but we're going to attack him in the open. See if he actually wants to fight or if he'll run away. Go ahead and add those two. Twenty-six percent chance. Why not? We'll see if we can assassinate him. See what happens.
Well, killed somebody. I like these little cutscenes that they do for each... Whenever you do a mission with your ninja or your monk. Send them out and do something. They have nice little cutscenes for you. And he failed. Definitely, definitely failed. Jumped a little too far. Didn't didn't make that good assassination like he should have. That looks like he might get away. Yeah, he was able to escape though, so that's a plus. Take our Matsuke. We're gonna oversee the settlement here, so it's gonna increase our tax revenue, so we'll make more money out of there. We'll go ahead and attack these guys. Let's see, they got two generals, they got some bow samurai, a lot of Yari Ashigaru. It's alright though, I got a I got a better army than they do, plus I get reinforcements. Wouldn't fight this battle. Try to put a cut in here after this battle. You can tell this town, since it's not a town battle, it's a little different. We got hills. On one side with a lot of trees so you can hide your troops in. Some smaller hills on the other side where the enemy will be. I have a feeling that the hill up top is probably where they're going to move their troops to. Because the AI is known to what they call hill camp. So if they have a hill they'll, they'll go up to it and they'll just camp up there and let you come after them. So let's see how this works out for me. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I got better troops than they do anyways. Oh, that's not good. We don't want it to rain. We don't want fog. Don't want rain. Oh, there we go. Nice dry day. Perfect. I'm going to skip this cutscene. Not that important to see. Let's group these guys together. Skirmish mode, put them up front. Then we'll take these samurai, put them on one end, my katanas on the other end, and both my generals in the middle. Let's start the battle. Yeah, see what I mean? They're moving to that hill. They're gonna go try and camp. So we're gonna take. Take all my archers and just move them down here. This time, and since they can't really see what I'm doing, they're moving to a different place. They don't have; they just have two archer units. And see, they realize what I was doing, so they start shifting. It shouldn't be long, and my archers will be in range. They'll be able to start shooting at their archers. So fast forward a little bit and get my all my units in place.
reinforcements coming. Leave them in the woods. Just trading volleys with their their uh, arrows there. So they're down to a hundred. They're now targeting my samurai. I've already killed their general, so that's close. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. Our general is in grave danger, my lord. All their units are just busy running away. And that's the end of the battle. Another decisive victory. It always helps if you can kill their general, especially early like that. It was kind of shocking. It doesn't always happen that, that easily, but it was pretty nice. It was a nice quick, quick kill. Here you go, the unit reviews after the battle. Those guys all experience rank 3, experience rank 2. I only lost 152 troops. They lost 1360. You go into your battle details here, you can see who killed what. So each of my generals had 9 kills. My katana samurai had 223. Most of my damage was done by my bow Ashigaru. 134, 193, 204, 163. Even my reserves, my reinforcements got some kills before the battle was over. And since I took out the general, they don't have a force here anymore. Oh, looks like I might have leveled up. The general increases in rank. So now I can level him up. Let's see, what do we get? We get a retainer. We have a choice of the Gamayumi. It's a thousand days of archery practice. It's a good start. So it's plus 10 accuracy for my bow infantry. Or one to command when attacking on land. I'll take that. And then we can do campaign movement range or melee defense for my bodyguard. So we'll add that. Get myself a little bit more movement. Like this way, so we're gonna follow the road and attack their next settlement. All right, we're gonna put a cut in there. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these uh, nice little YouTube video I got going here, just leave me a comment. And let me know. I'd like to keep doing them for you.